Ben, was there anything specific coming out of Arkansas, whether it was specific to Kennesaw State or just in general that you were working on this past week? Um, I think just the overall chemistry with the offense. Um, uh, obviously, there's a new group of people in there kind of working together, and I think we just worked on building that chemistry, and, um, and we're going to continue to do that. You guys have won the victory bell 15 straight years. How important is it you, for you and the other leaders of this team to make sure you guys aren't the team that loses that trophy? Yeah, I mean, we want to win every game, and our rivalry is obviously um, something that's really looked at as a, as a big game for us. And like Coach Vick says all the time, um, we got to respect the rivalry and respect our opponent. And um, we're going to prepare really hard this week because we know we have a tough opponent and they're going to be coming out swinging against us. And uh, so we got to prepare and um, play our best. Does it push you a little when you see Evan go out there and, and play like he did uh, in his in his time in the second half, where you're like, all right, you know, he, he he's putting on. We gotta we gotta keep pushing each other even harder. Yeah, I mean, Evan Evan's done such a good job. Um, he's he's gotten so much better, and I've I've been able to witness that. But I don't really like to compare myself to other people or look at it like that. I just worry about myself and. Um, I, at the end of the day, I just want to win games, and um, that's the most—that's the thing that's most important to me. So um, I'm not going to worry about any other people. But Evans done a really good job, and I'm super proud of him. And he's—he's going to continue to get better. Do you think Brady deserves more credit for the, the handoff to Miles Montgomery? Yeah, well, they—they they wanted to get him on a, a QB draw. They said it was the, the rite of passage for the freshman quarterbacks to get hit a little bit, and um, I was pretty sad that that didn't happened, but um, I think he was too, but um, it was nice to see him out there. How do you think Gavin's played first two games, having to step in as starting center? Gavin's played phenomenal. Um, everyone has so much confidence in him, and he has confidence in himself, and I think it really helped him uh, playing center all throughout spring ball, and um, just he has such a good command of the O-line, and um, I'm really excited for him, and um, he's going to keep getting better, and yeah, he's done a really good job. Did it help that you played a lot of second team snaps in camp two, so you actually got to work with him some at that position? Yeah, I think rotating around and getting in with different people always helps, and just to build that chemistry with whoever's in there. And you talk about respect, respecting the rivalry, and generally you respect every opponent. Um, so what is the difference then between your respect for <coughs> playing Miami versus, you know, there's no victory bell or a rivalry on the line? Um, I mean, the Miami rivalry just goes back so many years, and um, I think it's just you got to look at the history and everything that's behind it, um, and it's it's just a really big rivalry, and we're gonna go out and um, play our best ball, and we know that they're gonna prepare for us well, and we have to prepare for them, um, and it's gonna be a good game, and we're excited for the challenge. As you continue to get more and more comfortable being back here, being in this offense, being back around your guys, what do you want to improve upon as you're continuing to get this thing going? Um, I want to continue uh, my development as a leader. And um, I think that that's really important at the quarterback position, um, someone who can lead the team, lead the offense, and have that kind of one voice, um, kind of like what Des, Des had, and he had that really strong, powerful role and I want to kind of keep developing, de developing that role for myself. Um, and I'm excited to continue to work on that and throughout the season. Um, but yeah, I think the leadership thing would be the biggest thing for me. With so many weapons, do you ever find yourself keeping track of like where the ball has gone and if there's someone else who maybe needs to get fed a little bit, is that something you're thinking of at all? Honestly, not. I mean, we have a group of unselfish people who um, just want to win, like like I do, and uh, we all just want to win. And whoever gets the ball, and uh, if we're continuing drives and scoring touchdowns, like no one really cares who's getting the ball or who has more yards or more touchdowns. I think at the end of the day, we just want to win. You and Coach Fickle spoke about respecting the rivalry. How often, though, are you guys reminded that this is a rivalry week and throughout the week in preparation, whatever that is? Yeah, I think we're reminded every day. He, he really emphasizes that, and 
Um, we don't take that lightly. So um, it's it's really important to respect the rivalry, like Coach Vick has preached to us, and um, we're really looking forward to that that challenge this week. Any other questions for Ben? All right, thanks, Ben. We'll do our Quan Bush next. <coughs>